the dream of one's own home first becomes visible in the preliminary project. The architect studies the building regulations, the exposure to the sun and the area surrounding the plot of land, then designs the house based on the customer's requirements. For us, each house is unique. As early as during the preliminary project, we evaluate technical, economic and aesthetic solutions. Alternatives are checked and discussed. Views, models or visualizations serve as a decision-making aid for the architect. The rooms planned by the architect are arranged by the interior designer. Color schemes, lighting ideas, right through to furnishing suggestions form the main emphasis of this design work. The preliminary project also includes a precise cost estimate. This is based upon the architect's plans as well as information concerning the materials preferred. These are discussed with the customers at an early stage and noted. Once the preliminary project has been concluded, the application for planning permission is drawn up. Depending on the local authority concerned, the planning permission process lasts between six and eight weeks. At the same time, the architect hands the project over to the construction manager. From now on, the construction manager will accompany you personally. He draws up a time schedule and coordinates the companies involved. The construction manager ensures that you're kept permanently informed of the progress of the building work and of the cost situation. At the same time, detailed planning begins. Together we'll visit exhibitions of kitchens, sanitary facilities and wooden or tile flooring. In this respect we have a free choice of suppliers. Naturally though, we have extensive experience of working with many well-known companies, which makes it possible for us to pass on both favourable conditions and professional advice. The construction manager begins with the invitation to tender for the individual construction contracts. In all cases, several companies are invited to submit an offer. In this way, we ensure competitive market prices and cost transparency. During this period, the woods construction technician drafts the first production plans. The material required is calculated and ordered. It's here that the production time and processes are laid down. Thermal technology, static and aesthetic considerations are again discussed and optimized. Our joinery shop produces the stairs, doors, cupboards and kitchens for your home. We draft everything to measure according to your individual taste. Here we see the draft of a staircase. Modern machinery enables a high quality finished product.
let's return to the element structure. The wooden lamellas are the starting point of production. We predominantly use FSC certified Swiss spruce as our structural wood. The sawmill produces lamellas from the tree trunk which are then dried down to 12%. We check each individual lamella. Points with excessive knot holes or cracks are marked and cut out. If you prefer the special so-called moon wood, you can select the trees for your own home together with the forester. The wood is felled and further processed in accordance with the phases of the moon. We glue the lamellas together to form the desired length in an automatic production line. We can produce boards of up to 24 meters in length. The gluing is so good that it's barely detectable. Depending on their later use, the boards are now glued into various different laminates. The machine roughens the surface to allow optimum penetration of the precisely dosed amount of glue. Our gluing shop can produce wooden joists with heights of up to 2 meters. In addition to our own structural wood, we also produce glued laminated wood for other carpenters or retailers. Alongside this, we also manufacture solid wooden floors, hollow box elements or our proven and painted floor ceiling system. The boards must remain in the press for three hours before they're further processed. Next step is the four-sided planing to the final size. In our company, the carpenter plans the roof truss on the computer. The machine imports the electronic file the carpenter enters the size of the wood to be processed and the machine does the rest. In this way, both the roof truss and the structural wood for the walls are created in the shortest possible time and with millimetre precision. The Hundiger Speed Cut is one of the quickest and most modern cutting machines in the world. The roof truss elements are assembled in our hall. Depending on the design, at this stage the thermal insulation is embedded between the rafters or the roof window installed. The elements are given a protective coating and then prepared for transport to the construction site. Floor and ceiling elements are prepared by the carpenter in our works. Elements of up to 2.5 meters in width are produced and then transported to the construction site where they're installed. In production hall number four, the structural wood is assembled on a joinery turntable. Depending on the structure of the wall, the additional layers are now added. On the standard wall, these consist of a wooden material board as a structural element and a gypsum plaster board as a plastering base. Openings for the windows and doors are cut out automatically. The holes for the electrical sockets and leads are countersunk.
The wall is then tilted onto the second turntable. Here the hollow areas are insulated. For this we use a wide variety of materials, most frequently mineral fibers or cellulose. On this turntable we prepare the empty tubes and sockets for subsequent electrical installation. The wall is then boarded up again and set up for window assembly. The window assembly is the last work stage carried out in our plant. Windows can be wooden, wood metal or synthetic and here too we're flexible as regards the supplier. These days there's no such thing as a standard window. The price is determined by the size and the latch construction.